Hello, everyone. It's so good to see you all today. Welcome to another edition of Monday Majors with Green River College. My name is Max Burnham, and I am an international student advisor at Green River. And I am here today to spend a little bit of time to talk about the nursing programs at Green River College. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we jump into the specific programs, and I'm gonna share my screen for this because it can get a little bit complex when you're thinking about nursing programs in the United States. I want to share a few key terms with you all so we all are on the same page when we move forward talking about these different terms and these different degree options at Green River. First, let's review a few important job titles for nurses. Now, it's important to remember when you hear these terms that they are referring to actual professions in the United States, job titles, not degrees that nurses get. The first is called a licensed practical nurse. This typically takes about two years to complete, and these uh, people who work in this profession provide direct patient care to patients in hospital or clinical settings. Those are licensed practical nurses. You might also hear them referred as LPNs. A level above LPN, a level above LPN is our, our nurses who are called registered nurses. Remember, this is a job title uh, for uh, the nursing profession. This usually takes four years to complete and become a registered nurse. And because of this higher level of education, there comes a higher level of patient responsibility for these nurses. And in some cases, registered nurses were, will actually be the managers or oversee licensed practical nurses. So it's a little bit higher level of difficulty, higher level of responsibility, and higher level of education that you need to become a registered nurse. There are many different types of nurses in the United States, but these are two main ones that we'll be referring to throughout this presentation and two that you can become by taking classes and programs at Green River College. There are also a variety of academic degrees that are also associated with nursing in the United States. So I just wanted to name some of those for you all so that you are familiar and comfortable with these terms and maybe you've seen them on your own as you've done some research for the nursing programs as well. The first is uh, the associate degree in pre-nursing. That is a degree that Green River College offers and we'll be talking about more in depth as we move through this presentation. There is also a practical nursing degree, which is different from the associate's degree in pre-nursing and leads students to becoming a licensed practical nurse, an LPN. We'll also be discussing this program option as well, more in depth later in this presentation. And then finally, you all might have heard uh, what's called a BSN, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So that is a bit of a higher level nursing degree that students would earn. Typically it takes about four years and we will also be discussing a little bit more information about this degree further on in the presentation. No matter which of these nursing programs or paths you choose, there are many common classes that will be required that you will need to start with as sort of nursing prerequisite classes, classes that are required before you take more specific nursing classes in your educational career. Students, and I'm gonna read these from left to right. Students will need to take English classes that will include a basic English 101 composition class, as well as an English writing class. All students will also need to take some sort of communication skills class. Typically, that is a class known as public speaking, although you might also be required to take a class in interpersonal communication or potentially small group communication as well. All students interested in nursing will also have to take psychology courses. So that is at least the introductory psychology course, which is the general psych course, as well as lifespan psychology about the growth and development uh, of individuals. And you'll also have to take a very specific biology series 
that is specific to nursing program majors. That starts with a general biology class with a lab and then moves forward to a two-part sequence in human anatomy and physiology, and then finishes with a microbiology course. You'll also have to take some general chemistry classes. So you'll have to take an intro to general chemistry as well as an intro to organic chemistry. And then all nursing students will also need to take a couple of math courses, uh, a pre-calculus course and a statistics course. So as you think about nursing and you think about sort of if this career, or this program is right for you, these are the classes that you will have to take um, as prerequisites before you focus more specifically on very specific nursing courses themselves. Now let's go through a couple of degree options that are offered uh, for students interested in pursuing nursing as a program and as a profession. Uh, these are programs that are offered at Green River College. So here is the first option, and this is our most common option and most popular option that international students pursue who are interested in nursing. It's called the Associate in Pre-Nursing Degree. This path begins sort of with this first arrow at the top where international students complete a two-year degree called their Associate in Pre-Nursing. That's where they finish all of their nursing prerequisite classes. So all of the classes that we discussed on the prior slide, the biology classes, the chemistry classes, the math, the psychology, the English, all of those classes are part of the Associate in Pre-Nursing degree. And you would complete those in two years at Green River College. Then we move down to the second arrow. After finishing that Associates in Pre-Nursing, it is very common for our students to complete one year of clinical experience where they're gaining hands-on experience in either a clinic or a hospital setting, working as nursing assistants to gain that sort of hands-on experience that is then required when you're applying to a four-year program at a four-year university. After obtaining that work experience, and students obtain that work experience through a process called OPT, which is called um, optional practical training. You're still on your F1 student visa in that case. After obtaining that work experience, many students will transfer to a, a different four-year university and finish their BSN, their Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. They would then be able to take an exam, a nursing exam, and become registered nurses in the United States, RNs. So, Let's review this process again. It's two years at Green River, finishing the Associates in Pre-Nursing, up to one more year work experience, where you're gaining hands-on work experience in the nursing field, and then two additional years in a BSN program. All of that to take an exam and become a registered nurse. This first part of the degree uh, in the green box is at Green River College. So those first three years, the two year of associate in pre-nursing and the one year work experience is all completed at Green River College. And that final piece is actually finished at a different university. So that'd be a different four year university in the United States. That's one of the degree options on, on how to become a nurse at Green River College. And it's our most popular one for our international students. There is another option that I will share with you right now. Degree option two is completion of our practical nursing degree at Green River. Now, uh, for this degree, students would spend between one and one and a half years completing those prerequisite classes that we discussed on the first page, those biology courses, chemistry courses, math courses, psychology courses. And then our students would apply to the LPN program, the practical nursing program that is actually hosted and held at Green River. So that's another program we have. Students would just complete the prerequisites needed for that program, and then they would apply for entrance to the LPN program. This is a competitive application, so students are not guaranteed admittance to this program. Once they are admitted to the program, you would then spend one year in 
more intensive practical nursing courses in a program at Green River. That's this middle arrow here labeled the LPN program. So one year intensive program where you're taking practical nursing courses. As part of this program, you're actually receiving practical training, practical sort of clinical training as part of the program itself. Once you complete the LPN program, you are able to become a licensed practical nurse, an LPN. The third arrow on this graphic is optional. Once you finish the LPN program and become a licensed practical nurse, you have an option to apply for the BSN program at Green River College. You have to finish the LPN program at Green River in order to then apply for the BSN program at Green River. So that's one of the key differences between these two degree options. Uh, for our, the first degree option, if you finish the associate and pre-nursing degree, you would apply for a BSN program at a different university. In order to apply for the Green River BSN program, you need to become a practical nurse first. You need to finish the LPN program to then apply for the BSN program at Green River. And again, this is a competitive application. Not every student is guaranteed admittance to the BSN program at Green River. But if the students are accepted, they would then complete two more years of study at Green River in the BSN program, and then they could complete the nursing test to become a registered nurse. This uh, path is a little bit less popular than this first degree option that we discussed before, the associate in pre-nursing, where students finish the full associate in pre-nursing degree, one year of practical experience, and then they apply to a BSN program at a different four-year university. When thinking about transferring to a university, especially thinking about transferring to a four-year university to complete their BSN program, their Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, it's important to keep a couple of things in mind. The first, of course, is your academic record, right? Your transcripts and your history of grades that you've received uh, in your university level courses. For the most competitive program, so if you are a student who really wants to transfer into a very competitive nursing program at the four-year level, your goal for, for your prerequisite classes, those classes we discussed at the beginning, right, should be at least a 3.0 in those prerequisite classes in order to apply to transfer to the most competitive universities. But when you're thinking about transferring, the admissions officers at those schools and in those nursing departments are not just looking at your academic record. They're also reviewing your clinical experience. And that's why both of those degrees that I discussed both had elements of clinical experience in them. Before you enroll in a BSN program, it is really important to have some clinical experience to um, show your commitment to the profession and also show that you have the necessary skills and experience to succeed in a BSN program. For competitive programs, they recommend having at least 100 hours of clinical experience working in a clinic or a hospital prior to applying or another healthcare setting. Um, and for example, for University of Washington, which is a quite a popular and well-regarded nursing program in the United States, they actually recommend that students who are applying to their BSN program have over 500 hours of clinical experience before they apply to transfer. So those are two really important pieces and things to understand about nursing in the United States. It's not just your academic record that's important, but also it's very important that as you are going through these programs, you're also gaining practical, hands-on clinical experience. There are many, many wonderful Bachelor of Science BSN programs across Washington State. And these are just a few on the right-hand side of your screen that our students have, have transferred to in the past. UW Seattle, Seattle Pacific University, and Seattle University, just to name a few of the really well-regarded programs.
right, that was a lot of information, right? Nursing is a can be a bit of a complex profession to to research and to think about uh, in the United States, but let's just review a few key takeaways uh, from the presentation. The first is there are many pathways to becoming a nurse in the United States. We discussed in this presentation two common ones for international students uh, that are available at Green River College, the Associate in Pre-Nursing Degree and also the LPN, the Licensed Practical Nursing Program at Green River. But there are also other paths other than that uh, that are available, but those are the two most common, most popular ones for international students coming to Green River College. Demand is high to have more healthcare professionals in the United States, not just nurses, but of course also doctors and nursing assistants and medical assistants. Uh, all fields and profession related to the healthcare setting are in very high demand right now in the United States. Remember that your grades and your academic progress and academic transcripts are very important when you're thinking about applying to a Bachelor of Science in Nursing program or to a higher level degree in nursing, but so too is clinical experience. So you are showing that not only do you understand the field academically, but you also are proficient in hands-on experience, right? Because really that's what nursing is all about. You are providing hands-on patient care, patient-centered care to individuals in a hospital or clinic or other medical, uh, medical building or medical facility. And then finally, it's really important that you are um, or that you think about and reflect about your commitment to this work. The degree paths for nursing in the United States are quite different than degree paths for other health sciences. So you will be taking a different set of biology courses and a different set of chemistry courses than students who are interested in biology or chemistry or pre-medicine even. So it can be a little bit challenging to transfer the courses from nursing if you decide not to do a nursing program. So you really need to think and reflect and make sure that you are committed to this sort of work before you dive into a nursing program at Green River or at any other institution as well. So I hope this presentation provided a, a quick introduction, a helpful, a useful introduction into the nursing programs and options that are available at Green River. And we look forward to seeing you all on our campus soon. Okay, thanks everyone.